We're gonna go yellowtail, and I love the yellowtail. It's one of the, one of the best eating fish we got down here. But uh, we got there and we set up. Everything was perfect. We caught these two monster yellowtail, but uh, dang sharks, bro. So we knew, dude, it was time to get out of there. Get out of there and try to do something different. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. You know, Scott, when you come down, what we're doing is basically we're filming a TV show, but we're also grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. um, you like to eat fish, I like to eat fish. It's been established. And, and it's what we do. Um, so we're gonna go yellowtailing. I love the yellowtail. It's one of the, one of the best eating fish we got down here. It's in every restaurant in, in the Keys, up and down. Um, Obviously, it's winter time. This is when the bait's down here. This is when you want to be throwing that cast net, getting out on the reef. You know, a lot of times, uh, I prefer to catch a yellowtail with the live bait. It's more visual. Uh, people enjoy it a lot more to actually see the fish popping on top. You know, so we went out and we made uh, yeah, a lot of casts. A lot of casts of the net, man. We threw the net through the net and filled that well up. Golly, what a beautiful day I ordered up for you, Scott. <laughs> so, let me get my net loaded up and I'll get you on them. Come on, baby. Swim right at me. Let's get this over with. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, man, they're right off our bow. He's living right here. All right. Look out. All right. Definitely you give me a look. Pushy push. <laughs> Not to lose. <laughs> Just lose. Not that way. All right, Scott, we got bait, so what we're gonna do is head out to the edge of the reef. I'm ready, I, I'm gonna go from wash down duty to anchor duty, I'm ready, sir. Everybody needs a Scott. <laughs> um, but we got bait, so we're good, man. We'll get out there on the if edge. If we can't one, catch one, anything one. with this, then we need to find a new line of work. Yeah. Uh, we got there and we set up, everything was perfect. We had plenty of chum, we had the light rods, uh, mostly mono. Uh, you can't, you know, you, you wanna keep it lighter when you're dealing with those yellowtail. They're really smart fish. Um, there's somebody chasing them around 365, you know? Mm-hmm. The ones you want right there, buddy. Oh, when you're getting... a little loose. I had to bring the old backdoor slide. <laughs> yeah. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad, go with confidence. Hawks K Resort, the only key you'll need. Shimano. Bubba Blade, the ultimate lifestyle. Yeti, built for the wild. And by Power Pro, Sea Deck, and Costa. So we run down to the west a little bit, Scott. The water is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we're sitting out on that outside edge of that reef. And that tide's running to the west. It is all lined up. Or current, actually. It's actually really pretty conditions.
For the snappers and the yellowtails, you want to see like a little bit dirtier water. But man, you talk about for the kings and the, the bar jacks and the African pompanos and the, all those other uh, you know predators that live on the reef. Besides the snappers, that clear water is really awesome. So that I got one stuff. ready for the toothy critters and get a couple ready for the other fellers. I got one for the bottom. Look at that sandy key. That's a happy bait right there, buddy. It's only a 60 pound leader. So if I get run in, we'll have to bump it up. If I get run in, I'll give you 80 and let you fish them. <laughs> Still ain't caught you a 20 pound grouper yet. I think I caught one on you. Of course. Where everything looked perfect, everything was perfect, the water color was right, the current was going the right direction, um, and, and we started getting some bites. You know, I love coming down here to, to fish with you because I know we are going to go yellowtailing. I mean, that's just what we do. And when we hit it right, you know, we hammer them. Hooked up. Head shaker. And easy to hook the motion tallies. There is just using the current. I believe that bait is gorgeous. Big cereal mackerel following the Way back there. Up. You got big yellowtail? Yeah, it's a yeller. Cool. These are the ones you want right there, buddy. Oh, when you Drag's a little loose. I have to bring the old backdoor slide. <laughs> yeah. Ready? There, there we go. go. <laughs> That's a pretty one. Pretty. Probably the day I should have told you to get a bunch of chum. <laughs> you know? How it uh, works. That's what we were looking for last time we were visiting together. Yeah. That's dinner for two. Going in the box. What you got, Scott? Yellow tail. Sweet. Big one. Catch him, Mel. But there's also a big bull shark back there. Oh, no. <laughs> I brought you here because there's no sharks here. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a big yellow tail. Come on. Oh, there's a shark. You're good. You're good. Chill out. Turn around. Over at the fort. Nice. Woo. Get my uh, we back. got there and we set up. Everything was perfect. And uh, we thought it was going to work out. You caught these two monster yellowtail. But uh, dang sharks, bro. Fish on. That's a real bite. Turn his head. Yeah, baby. All happens when that bull shark got out of the way. <laughs> but he's probably still pretty hungry. <laughs> bull shark is not out of the way. <laughs> oh, come on. Bull shark is right in the neighborhood. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, oh. come on, come on. Oh. 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 And there goes our mutton. Oh. That's a shame. Yeah. But it turned out that um, got sharky, man. It just we couldn't get him to the boat. You know, we couldn't get him to the boat, and and not just that, the, the yellowtail wouldn't even come up because of the sharks. Um, the sharks had moved in, and they were actually weird because there was some smaller sharks that were actually eating the yellowtail baits. Um, it, whether it was a little live bait or whether it was a, you know, a, a piece of bonita that you had cut up, you know, dead dead that we were drifting back yeah. to match the chum that's coming out of the chum bag. Uh, you know, and and the craziest thing though is is. The sharks got so bad to a point where the bigger sharks moved in and they were eating the sharks. Shark that ain't the pelters. That's silky. <laughs> or whatever it is. Sandbar. I'm about to get the trap. Just the way it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a trap all day. Oh, jeez. Watch them start floating when it, that sauce through them. Oh yeah, I feel it. <laughs> what you got, Stevie? I got a shark that got you eaten were right. by. A, that got eaten by a shark. That's a cold, hard world out there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got dorsal. You got the fins.
That's pretty impressive, Scotty. <laughs> Save me a tooth! Save me a tooth! That is crazy, Scott. Have you seen that before? Seen it in a golf before, but first time on the reef for me. Scotty, you just gotta catch what ate him. <laughs> Hey, you wanna see more of Into the Blue? Well, you can. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even come on over to our YouTube channel. See you there. Hey guys, I wanna take a minute to show you Scale's newest addition to the family, the Fisherman Board Shorts. Made by Fisherman for Fishermen. Some of the coolest features in a pair of shorts you're ever gonna see. My favorite is the padded waistband. When we're fishing all day long with spinning tackle or any other tackle, hooking a fish is just the beginning of the fight. Then you have to fight the pain when it hits you in the hip. I usually used to put chamois and stuff hidden underneath my belt line. They built it right in. These are padded waistbands. Yeah, baby. I'll tell you, I got a secret weapon on. These new scale shorts have a padded band. Padded waistband for your rod butt, which is sweet. They went the extra nine yards and built in a plier pocket with 600 count denier polyester. So your pliers slide in and out, they never get jammed up. And besides that, they're comfortable. They have four way stretch and they look good. Scale shorts, they're made to slay. Oh. I already feel the, <laughs> the non-cooperation. <laughs> might be a giant nurse shark. All right. Even worse. The non-cooperation. That's a shame. Well, the non-concern that he has a hook in his mouth. Might be a stingray. <laughs> I always find it's best to catch fish when you're hooked up to the bottom. <laughs> Still have that uh, old gut protector. I think I recall seeing the lightning belt uh, in my garage. <laughs> I was gonna say, I haven't seen one on here. We get set up with the yellow tails and you know, you're always quick to, to put the uh, first bait on the bottom for the black grouper if he's there. And you got quite, uh, quite the surprise for a, I think it's a first for us. <laughs> was it the first bite? Yeah, who, here's the deal. I knew right off the bat what it was, and it was not moving, and it was, uh, so just the icing on the cake, besides <laughs> yeah. losing. We had, the, we had the sharks. The shark head that I caught, <laughs> the, 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 the giant nurse shark that is like bringing up a dead engine block <laughs> from the bottom. Oh no, <laughs> you didn't do that to me. <laughs> what kind of bait on this? Uh, jig head. <laughs> How'd you end up in that position, bro? I'm trying to do you a <laughs> solid and you won't swim over this way. You're saving my hook, I got you. What a cobia, bro. Looks like one of them cobias from the internet. They will not cooperate. <clears throat> He doesn't want to come over here. Just using the tide, opening his mouth. There you go. Doesn't even try to swim away. There he we go. He didn't like this side of the boat. <laughs> that was for sure. In a bite on the wire. Sucks. Scotty, I think we slide out a little deeper, buddy. Go ahead, get him. He I got gone. your rod. He gone. He gone? He gone. I think we slide out a little deeper, see if we can't find some tunas. Maybe something on the bottom. Cause this ain't really happening in the shallower water. I'm down with that. That 100 foot, I was thinking you would throw some bait and we'd get a little bit more action, but. All right, I'll rig up. After that, and you know, it was time to definitely come up with plan B. Cause you, you know, you can't, you, just, you gotta have a, you gotta have a plan B. There's always. I, I, your plan B's are awesome. <laughs> Always got to have plan B. I think you should start using your plan B for A. 
That's a real one. Let there him we run. Go. Let him run. Let him run. Cool thing about this spot is it's really not too bad of a relief, so it doesn't don't get rocked up. It's a good fish. But shark gets you. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Hurry up. Take your time. I just reminding you about the shark. <laughs> Enjoy it, but what they say about amberjacks. Bite the whole way up. All the way up. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you got the shorts on with the built-in uh, pocket. Rod butt. Yeah, buddy. Super nice. Not or is? Is not floating. Looks like the right color. For an amberjack. It's all some brown kind of blend. Floating here. now. Floating now, baby. Super. Boom. Mud. That's a real one. Yeah. It's got a spot. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> it's got the spot. Dang. Dang it looks a like a red. Got the spot. You got one on? Now that's a mutton snapper there, boss. Yeah, that's a good one. I like them when they got the spot on them. You can keep them. <laughs> I'll hold them here and see what you got. So you called that thing an amberjack until it was about 15 feet from the boat. This is, I have never caught too many that big. Come on now. He fought the whole way until I grabbed that lead. He got a tail on him. Thing wants to get eaten by a shark, I can tell. Once you find them with, with that plotter and the GPS and the drift, you hit that same spot o over and over and What's over going again. On here. Oh, Sharkarooski. Oh. Eating my mutton. Oh. Mine fought all the way to the lead. Come on, baby. Yeah, but like locking up on me. There comes you my go. head. There you go. We got a little spunk out here today. Float now, buddy. There you go. It's going to be a bookend. Got the right angle on it. <laughs> All right. I'm hoping. Uh, you got the right thing. Come on, baby. I got so much head shake in here. That's it. That's exactly the way I would thought I had an AJ. It's probably the braid, you know. <laughs> it must be, because that's a big old sow belly right there, buddy. Bottoms up. Thank you, Bob. All right. Bookends. Grab a hold. Oh, you're going to like this. Dinner is served. Woo! Nice one. Oh, man. Want to grab you? <laughs> Did I beat you? Uh, it's, they're close. Look at that. I think I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You can keep dropping your slow. Well, I'm trying to get the lift together there. <laughs> That's a nice doubleheader there, buddy. Yeah, man. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. West Marine, for your life on the water. Scales, every degree of water. Mercury Marine, go boldly. And by Ameritrail, Spear One Charters, and Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina. So cut that, this, you want this one in half and you want that whole? Leave that one whole yep. and that one in half. And that'll make, that'll cook just the same and it's easier. Well, I noticed, man, everything that I've, you've given me, like the queen or whatever that mm -hmm. you give me a packet, you, you're keeping the skin on everything nowadays. And then that, cause you can make the decision whether you're gonna grill or fry or whatever later, mm -hmm. but you can't put the skin back on once you take it off. That's Is right. that the deal? There's a layer of fat between the skin and the flesh that actually cooks. Yeah. That, that, that gets superheats and it keeps the it, 
it just, it cooks the meat faster and, and more, more evenly if you keep the skin on. And the scales are so, the next day they just pop right off the grill. Here we go. Hold them, Jack. Good Mar stuff. Martin that. Snapper. You might notice I'm cheating. One to one may be the greatest invention of all time. You got two speed on there? <laughs> well, you Just, are cheating. I'm embracing the tackle. Pay a little extra for it. Oh, I got a floater. Oh, yeah. There we go. I love that last move right there. Woo! Got a spot. I'll give you. I'll give you the muttons here in Key West, bro. These are beauties. And it tastes so good. Yeah, just make a little wiggle, bro. Get away from the sharks. The fishing is still good. It's just the, the right rig, nice. you know, that, that rig that, um, that you put out there with that long leader, the right rig. Um, you know, every time I turn around, Scott, you already have me rigged up. So it, it's, it's very simple, man. We, we, we can quickly transition from one thing to the next. And that's what's so important. Nice is you gotta be uh, able to improvise and, and make it happen. And we do that so many times. The beautiful part was once you've uh, had us dialed in, you know, we were putting some serious pounds in the cooler really quick. That is why we get up early. That's why we work so hard. And that's the reward right, right there. there. Yes, sir. Thanks, Captain. I know these muttons excite you, bro. So we got always, always gonna, if I know they're around wherever we're at, I won't let you down. I'll put you down on them. I'll hold you to it. All right.